Good morning, saints in Christ. I am Claudia Brown with your devotion this morning. The theme this morning, what are the attributes of godly character? Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. The more we read the scriptures, the more we learn about the Holy Spirit. The Spirit gives every one of us spiritual gifts that empowers us to do great things for Him. It is good to know that the Spirit of God works through us to accomplish His will. We are His hands, we are His feet, we are His mouth, everything. Galatians 5.16 Walk in the Spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The Holy Spirit works in us to transform our character from what's inside to what's outside so that the light of Christ will be seen in us. Sisters, when the Holy Spirit is in our lives, things change. Things will never be the same. Who we are on the inside should be different. The Holy Spirit's work in our lives should produce the fruit of the Spirit in us. Paul says it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. When we sow to the Spirit, we reap the fruit of the Spirit, which is joy, love, peace, and so on. Sisters, let us spend time in prayer and fasting and reading the Word of God. So the fruit of the Spirit can empower us to become like Christ. God bless you today. Let us continue to pray and to pray one for each other. Let us pray this morning. Father, we thank you because you are God. We thank you because you are holy, you are righteous, and there is none like you. Father, we thank you for life this morning. We thank you, mighty God, for the Holy Spirit that works in us, mighty God, to accomplish your will. We thank you, mighty God, because you found us, God, worthy, so you can use us for your glory. You can use us for your kingdom. Mighty God, this morning, as we come, we surrender ourselves to you. I pray, mighty God, that in the areas, mighty God, where we are falling short, mighty God, when putting on your character, that mighty God, you will build us up today. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will surround us with your glory. You will surround us with your anointing because it is our desire to do your will. It is our desire, mighty God, to obey you, mighty God. I pray that your will will be done in our life, God, as we go into your word, as we spend time in prayer and we spend time in fasting and we spend time reading your word, mighty God. Put you, let your allow your character to be birthed, mighty God, in us. That mighty God, what is on the inside, mighty God, will flow on the outside. That others around us will see you in us. Mighty God, I commit every lady to you in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, remember those that are sick this morning, those that are weak. We pray, I pray, mighty God, for strength. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will heal. We know that you are a deliverer. You are God. You are God all by yourself. So I pray in the name of Jesus that your daughters, mighty God, will have new testimonies to testify of your goodness, to testify of your healing. Father, I commit today, I commit every lady, mighty God, every one of your children, mighty God, to you, into your hand. And I pray that your will will be done in their lives and in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we honor you in the name of Jesus. Amen.